Hey folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Nost Outdoors. Today I'm on Lake Erie. We're going to chase after some of these world famous walleye that they have here. We got a one two combination that we're going to show you to hopefully help you put more walleye on the ice. Let's go fishing. Oh, bobber's down. Oh man, it didn't move. <laughs> oh, this one's got some weight on it here. I have not seen it yet. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh my gosh, look at the size of this thing, oh, <laughs> what a fish, oh man, I saw the head come right up and it filled the whole hole, oh, that's got to be pushing 10 there, oh. Maybe even more. It feels like more, that's for sure. A gold demon jig. Tip with a minnow. Minnow's obviously gone. Oh, <laughs> look at that, folks. Now that's what you come to Lake Erie for, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, my heart's pumping. <sighs> you got one, Mark? Yeah, we got one. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh look at this. Oh. Oh. Man, oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey. You got that one on the float, huh? Yeah, jigging it in, it uh, went for the bobber, the dead stick. Kind of called it in with the spoon. Oh, that's awesome. It's a dead stick. That is cool. Yeah. <laughs> now we're in about 20 feet of water, right? Yeah, 21 at the bottom of the ice. Okay. 21. They're staging here. They're real close to the reefs, just to the west of us. And uh, they're moving in from the eastern basin, and they're just staging, staging out here in the mud. You got one going over there, Larry? Yes, I do. Oh, it's a good bend in the rod there. <laughs> it's a big bend in the rod. <laughs> Feel good? I don't know, it's just sitting it's there. Sitting there? I can't even reel. When you're fishing out here and you get somebody gets one on, it's the best idea just to re reel your rod in and then uh, so you don't get tangled because these big fish swim around where they want to. Yeah, because he's taking me for a ride. Taking too, you Mark. for a ride. <laughs> but this GX2 really is handling it well. It's a nice thing. It's got a good good backbone, but a very sensitive tip that allows that head to just keep yeah, going down the water. Yeah, I see that. You can see that yeah. just boom, boom. Every time you feel that big thump. Oh, you want me to help baby, you? you bet. Oh, look at that, it's the size of the hole. <laughs> These walleye are amazing. It Holy is, you know. Cow. I mean, that's just, uh, and we catch them like this all the time out here. Oh, man. And on a little venom float action. Let this one back. That's beautiful, that's awesome. You know, our success on these walleye today are because of the one-two combination punch that we're throwing at them. On the one hand, we've got a jigging rod. I've got a Veritas rod here. It's a medium light action rod. It allows me to jig very freely up and down the water column, be very active. This is in fact my decoy. It's attracting the fish. On the other hand, we've got our dead stick and it's exactly that, a dead stick. It's not being touched. And the key to a dead stick is all in the float. We're using today a float called the Venom Float. And the key to this is neutral buoyancy. It's probably the most sensitive bobber on the market today. It's got a plastic cavity and then it's got a float. How you establish neutral buoyancy is all in the process of pushing this float into this cavity. So you've got your jig that you want down there. It's got a certain weight to it. How you establish buoyancy is by the amount of pushing the tube into the cavity. For heavier weights, you want to leave as much of the tube out of the cavity. For smaller weights, we're going to push the tube all the way in and get rid of that air pocket so that it floats just at the surface of the water. So the great thing about the Venom float is that there's no cutting and there's no modifications. It's just a simple adjustment and you can have your float sitting exactly where you want in the water. Venom floats come in two sizes and three colors. There's your standard breast cancer awareness model and then also the night bite. I highly suggest you check them out at venomfloats.com and put more fish on the ice.
guys got one. I got one too, Don. This is, okay, this is a double, go. man. This is cool. This is cool stuff. Look at this guy. He's Look just wailing at that. Out. Way to go, Don. Yeah. It's nice stuff, They're man. small, but they're all beautiful. Boy, when you get doubles like this? Yeah. I wouldn't even consider those small. <laughs> no, I wouldn't either, Larry. This, this is cool stuff. How's yours looking, Mark? Well, that one and that one. Oh, you got two. What one of these? Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. Let me get in there and help you out. Now we're talking. Now we got them going. I can say it's getting a little late now. We've had a terrific day of fishing. I mean, talk about your quantity and quality. Yeah. We've had them both today. We've had them both haven't today. Haven't we? Yes, folks. Man. You got to check out Venom Floats at venomfloats.com. I want to thank Mark. Broombaugh as well as Mike Gofran for joining me today. And Mike Gofran's wife cooks excellent cookies. Just, just a shout out to her too. Yes, she does. <laughs> hey, Middle East Outdoors, right back. I'm Larry Ladowski. We will catch you later.